Lord. And Paul refers to us as being, our lives being a temple, our bodies being a temple that the Holy Spirit dwells in. And he takes us there in 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 19 and 20. And he says, Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So let us rejoice this morning that the Lord takes ownership over our lives. But what the Lord really brought to my spirit this morning is I what the Lord really brought to my mind is that when Jesus Christ went into the temple, the physical temple uh, in whatever city he went into, there were so many times that he uh, that it was recorded that he found things in the temple that were never meant to be in the temple. As the Lord wants to speak to someone this morning and say this, that there are things in your life perhaps today that were never meant to be there. They've been allowed to come in. They've they've kind of taken control over certain parts of your life maybe. But the Lord says when He takes ownership, the first thing He wants to enlighten to us, perhaps this morning He wants to enlighten to us, is that there are certain things in your life that do not need to be there. And through the only through the power of Jesus Christ can they be cast out of your life so that they do not hinder you anymore. Would anyone agree with our morning moments with Jesus family this morning? Would any of you agree that worry, anxiety, and fear were never meant to dwell in your temple or in your life? They were never meant to dwell there. Because the Lord says that we are to cast our cares upon Him because He is the one that cares for us. That His yoke is easy and His burden is light. That how many of us by worrying about anything can add anything to our height or fix anything. Fear is an enemy to faith. And so we we speak to the Lord this morning and and we say, Lord, we, we ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus to take worry, anxiety, and fear and cast them out of my temple, cast them out of my life because you now own my life and you have the authority and the permission to come in and cast those things out. Perhaps someone is dealing with anger. The Lord tells us to be angry and sin not. Everyone kind of gets upset about certain things and that's a normal part of our lives. But when anger takes root and gives way to actions, that is when sin comes about. And so the Lord says, give me your anger, give me your temperament, give me those things that concern you because anger can not only cause sin in our lives, but it can cause a lot of hurt and harm in other people's lives if we allow anger to take root and give way to action. So, Lord, we ask you this morning to take take control of the anger and, and bring it into captivity and cast it out in the name of Jesus. There are other things like pride and unforgiveness and, and the ability to try to judge other people when the Lord says that judgment is His responsibility. So this morning I ask you to just take a little time and spend a little time with Jesus and say, Lord, I'm, I'm asking you this morning to reveal some things in my life that were never meant to be there. That they're a hindrance to my life. They're a hindrance in my temple, in, in my temple, in my life. And I'm asking you right now to just bring them into captivity and cast them out of my life. That I might live a life that's more pleasing to you. That when people see me, They can truly see who owns and controls my life. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, and which you have of God? You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, 
because they belong to God. Today I pray that blessing over you, that you would be safe, you would be strong, and you would be blessed. And you would be a person today that says, Lord, look deep inside of my temple and reveal anything that hinders me from being all I can be for you. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, try your very best to spend your morning moments with Jesus. And you have a great day.